Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wei Guoyin. On behalf of my colleagues Alexis Velik and Robert Koenig, I would like to thank the organizers for giving us this opportunity to present our work on novel magnetism in mixed 3D, 5D transition metal compounds. 3D compounds, such as cuprate superconductors, are known to host complex phase diagrams, which can be tuned by small perturbation due to strong electronic correlation or mode physics. Recently, relativistic motor insulators were found in certain 5D compounds, such as iridates, driven by strong spin orbital coupling. Here, we show that combining traditional and relativistic motor insulators is a promising approach to normal magnetic properties with these two examples. Put simply, motor insulators form when the local cooling interaction is larger than the relevant electron bandwidth. In general, this does not hold in 5D materials because of their more extended orbitals. However, since the spin orbital coupling strength is proportional to the force power of the atomic number, it's rather strong in the 5D atoms compared with other leading energy scales such as local Coulomb interaction and the crystal field splitting. Therefore, the wide 5D bands could be split by the strong spin orbital coupling to form a narrow band near the Fermi level, as manifested in this slide for the 214 iridate. The iridium 4 plus chitin has 5 electrons. Upon the large crystal field splitting, the 3 T2T orbitals are relevant and degenerate. The strong spin optical coupling will split them into the fully occupied total angular momentum J3 over 2 quadruplet, which become irrelevant, and the half field J1 half doublet states. The resulting effective bandwidth for the J1 half state is narrow enough for the moderate Coulomb interaction to make the system a motor insulator with a super exchange expressed in terms of the total angular moment or pseudo spin one half. A key feature of the pseudo spin is that it has an internal orbital structure. It is a superposition of the three T2G orbitals partially occupied by the one hole with different real spins. Hence, unusual exchange pathways could be opened by mixing the 3D and 5D atoms. Now, let's look into this mixed 3D 5D oxide, whose key structural feature is the chains with alternating copper and iridium atoms. This quasi-1D material is strange because first, the magnetic order in it is ferromagnetic, in sharp contrast with the antiferromagnetic order observed in the isostructural cuprate and iridate. Second, a Ricks measurement revealed a large gap in its magnetic excitation spectrum. In disagreement with the previous modeling, with a gapless Heisenberg model. Third, the saturation magnetic moment is much smaller than was expected for a ferromagnet. Last but not least, this ferromagnet exhibits an antiferromagnetic wise temperature. Curiously enough, we'd like to address these puzzles. Here, only one couple x square minus y square and three iridium T2G orbitals are relevant. The copper oxygen bracket and the iridium oxygen octahedron are edge sharing. As a result, the couple x square minus y square orbital and the iridium xy orbital are orthogonal to each other, yielding ferromagnetic exchange between them. As demonstrated by these chemists both experimentally and theoretically. In addition, the tilting of the iridium oxygen octahedron 
induces the antiferromagnetic exchange between the couple x square minus y square and the iridium xz yz orbitals. So there is a simultaneous presence of the ferromagnetic and antiferromagnetic superexchange between real spins. For the pure 3D or pure 5D materials, this means a competition. Whether the system is a ferromagnet or antiferromagnet depends on their relative strengths. However, the low energy physics in the couple iridium oxide is described by the superexchange between the couple spin and the iridium pseudo spin. For an iridium pseudo spin, the real spin of the hole partially occupying the xy orbital must be opposite to that in the xz yz orbitals. Let's look into the ferromagnetic alignment of a couple down spin and the iridium down pseudo spin. This ferromagnetic exchange and this antiferromagnetic exchange interactions between real spins become cooperative and the system exhibits a ferromagnetic order. Then, what about the large gap in the magnetic excitation spectrum? We notice that the flipping of the pseudo spins changes the Z component of the orbital angular momentum L Z by plus or minus 2. But the internal super exchange processes involving the XZ and the YZ orbitals preserve L Z. Therefore, the flipping of the pseudo spins is prohibited, yielding the icing like exchange anisotropy. What's novel here is that this ferromagnetic exchange anisotropy comes from the original antiferromagnetic super exchange processes. After projecting out the J3 over 2 states on the iridium sides, we obtain the low energy spin pseudo spin Hamiltonian. The parameter gamma 1 denotes the degree of anisotropy. We calculated the magnum dispersion of this Hamiltonian and compared the result with the experiment. We found the value of gamma 1 is about 2.6, indicating a rather strong anisotropy. To understand the small saturation magnetic moment, we calculated the effective G factors for the iridium pseudo spins and found that it is negative. Thus, the magnetic moments on the copper and the iridium sides cancel each other. Moreover, with the staggered G factors, the uniform external magnetic field acts like a staggered field, forcing the effective spins to align antiferromagnetically. This means that the ferromagnet is frustrated by a uniform field. At the critical field, the iridium pseudo spins will be aligned by the field where the couple spins become fully frustrated. This is an exotic state we refer to as half ice, half fire. I'm afraid that I don't have time to detail the physics of this quasi 2D material. In short, the undoped compound has easy plane anisotropy due to pseudo-dipolar interaction. Lucidium dopants effectively change the sign of the pseudo-dipolar interaction and yet the easy out-of-plane axis inducing a spin-flop transition. In summary, we have shown a few novel magnetisms in mixed 3D 5D compounds which are symmetry-based and expected to appear in other mixed 3D-5D systems, such as heterostructures. 
We thank our experimental collaborators and these are the relevant publications. Thank you for your attention.